So you're about to attend an event, a conference where they will be using the self-selected breakout rooms where you as a participant can choose which room, which breakout room you want to go to. So uh, this might be an unconference, this might be a social event, but oftentimes it's a little bit tricky to find the right button to click to actually join the room. So in this short tutorial, I will show you step by step on how to join a breakout room when you can select it yourself on a computer. So let me share my screen real quick. This is what it looks like uh, when you're on Zoom. As soon as the host has opened the breakout rooms, you will see this new button show up on the bottom of your screen. It just says breakout rooms. If you're on your mobile, this uh, will just show on the top left of your screen and also say breakout rooms. Once you click it, now you will see all the rooms that are created. And also you can see who's inside of the room. Um, and you can even see by looking at that number on the right hand side of how many people are in each room. So let me zoom in a little bit closer so we can see this a bit better. Um, so these are all the rooms. And unfortunately, it's not that intuitive on where do you click to actually join the room. Like if you click in the front here, it will just kind of like open up the rooms and you see who's in it. There's no button that says join. What you actually have to do is you have to hover over that number where it says how many people are inside this breakout room and then it will turn into a join button. So if you wanted to join room five with the host, you click here and then it will ask you join room five, uh, yes or no. Hang on, let me do this up here so you can actually see it. And then you can say, no, I pressed the wrong one or yes, I wanna join this room. And once you click yes, it will actually put you magically into room number one. Now we're in room number one and it's just us in here. So if we wanted to go back to another room, we can go back uh, on breakout rooms. Now we have two options. We can ask for help, which will send a notification to the host saying, oh, maybe there's somebody who needs technical help and they can come in and help you out. Or we click choose breakout room again and we will see the same menu pop up. And as you can see right now, it shows that I am in room number one. I have already joined, so I can't click in here, but I can join any of the other rooms. Um, so let's go to room number two real quick, do this whole thing again. And um, maybe if this is your first time, you're just gonna practice moving from room to room until you figure it out. And then one important thing is this button right here below me that says leave room. If you click this, it will send you back to the main room of the meeting. And you might be wondering right now why this says leave meeting and it doesn't say leave breakout room. Well, the host, when he set up this breakout room, he doesn't allow you to go back to the main room. So sometimes depending on how the meeting is set up, you have to be in the room until the time is out and they will send you back. Actually, if you look on the top, the time is already run out, but the host has decided to keep it open as I'm filming this video and I still haven't finished explaining. Um, so you have to wait until they bring you back. Otherwise, you might see here not just a leave meeting, but also a leave breakout room button. Because if you click leave meeting, the whole Zoom window closes. So just make sure you click the right thing. Um, I am going to bring everyone back in a moment um, and then we can continue. But this is these are the basic steps that you need to take to self-select one of your rooms. So let me know if this was helpful, if you're going to use this um, in your next event and hopefully you don't get lost. All right, thanks very much. See you soon.